Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Uh, I thought you'd never ask. It's a weekend, so let's do the whole dog on thing. Saturday, October the 1st. It's a whole new month. National Green City Day. I believe that's the first time. It's a proclaimed day this year. National Fire Pup Day. National Black Dog Day. National Hair Day. National Homemade Cookies Day. And National Pumpkin Spice Day. October the 2nd is Sunday. National Smarties Day. Are you a Smarty, Heidi? Uh, I guess it depends on who you ask. I would say yes. National Custodial Workers Recognition Day. National Fried Scallops Day. National Name Your Car Day. Do our cars have names? They do not. We need to do that. National Produce Misting Day or Produce Misting Day. Produce Misting, yeah, that's probably I'm sure. What it is. Yeah. And National GOE Day. I don't know what that is. I should probably <laughs> look it up, but I'm going to just move on. Uh, I have a guest joining me this weekend as well. Macy Bookout McKinney. She was first on the national scene in a TV show called 16 and Pregnant back in 2009, okay. which was later uh, turned into Teen Mom. Yeah. Well, now she's on a new program called Teen Mom, The Next Chapter. It's on Tuesday nights on MTV. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Dogs are more likely to respond to words like treat than to the sound of their own name, according to their owners. In a survey of 2,000 puppy parents, 52% said their dog comes running when they hear the words treat or cookie. Only 37% consistently respond to the sound of their own name. I would agree with that completely. Would you? Yeah. Our dog. Well, I mean, she loves to hear the word treat, but but I'm saying she also comes when you say her name. Usually, but not always. Sometimes she'll just be laying there and you'll say her name and she'll kind of look at you like, yeah, I see you. I see the uh, lips of flapping there, buddy, but what you got for me? <laughs> but if you, you don't even need to say treat, you just crinkle a little bit of plastic. It sounds oh, like you're Oh, and then opening. she'll come in. That's true. She's like, excuse me, did you have something for me? <laughs> I believe we're best friends right now. <laughs> all right. So somebody had to put all the money up to do a survey on that. And all it really wasn't was necessary. Really just ask. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know that smartphones and tablets are causing early puberty in children? Yeah. What? New research says uh, scientists in Turkey say these devices emit blue light that interferes with the production of melatonin, a hormone that slows sexual maturity. The scientists add that kids should not use digital devices before bed because humans secrete the chemical at night. So it's causing early puberty, but they're saying it slows sexual maturity. So how's it causing? That seems yeah, that seems that do, does seem off, doesn't it? Eh, don't quite understand it. But uh, if you want to know more, I guess there's uh, some information in this. Uh, if you want to read it in the show notes, I just think that's crazy. Now here's the thing: um, I'm on my phone a lot. You're on your phone a lot. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be on our phone so much. <laughs> According to all the stuff that I'm reading here, it's I'm like I'm not on oh, mine near as much as you are. Uh, that's what you say, but she's on her phone right now playing games. So. <laughs> not on my phone. Uh huh. Sure, sure you're not. Okay, we don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are in the news, but separately, not really together. Okay. Uh, she recently purchased a home in Malibu. $70 million she spent Ooh. on this huge 7,400 square foot estate. It is 14 miles up the coast from a $57 million home that Kanye is remodeling. Okay. So 
Yeah. A little too close for comfort little too as far close, as she's concerned. A little too close, maybe not far enough, maybe too far apart. I have no idea. There's already rumors. Uh, Tim Hardy, the star of Venom, The Dark Knight Rises, and Mad Max Fury Road, has proven his combat skills are not screen-made with impressive victory in real-life martial arts competition. He was in the UMAC Jiu-Jitsu competition in the UK, he didn't just compete. He won first place. Oh, my. That's pretty cool. And it might be something maybe that you don't want to hold your breath for, but Roseanne Barr may be coming back. I heard about this. A Roseanne comedy special. So she's saying she's going to do this, and they're, we're not sure if it's going to be a success, if it's not. But uh, It will. There are people that are super excited for her. There's others that are already saying, you know, keep her canceled. So I guess we'll see what happens. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If you don't have a tattoo because you're afraid to get one because you're afraid of needles, this might be good news for you. Scientists have developed a way for you to get a permanent tattoo without a needle. The new technology is in the form of a skin patch that has micro needles smaller than a grain of sand. While there's still technically needles involved. These are microscopic needles, and they're said to be painless, and there's no blood involved. These micro needles can be arranged into different designs and words and symbols to create the ideal custom tattoo. Really? As a bonus, they can even be made to respond to environmental factors, including light or temperature changes. Using skin patches is a quicker process for tattoos as well. The patch is pressed directly onto your body, similar to how you would apply like a temporary tattoo. But the micro needles dissolve, leaving the ink to sink into the skin a few minutes later. They can even be self-administered, so no tattoo shop is required. Yeah, it sounds weird. This should have been my weird news, because the whole thing is weird. But it's just, you know, kind of an interesting thing. And uh, let's read this story here. NHL, that's the hockey people. We're not uh, sports folks, so... We are not. I'm reading this for a reason, though. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs have been the recipients of some good old-fashioned chirping from the online community as a result of some new ads the team has on their jerseys for the upcoming season. Announced by the team... They're going to be wearing the logo of the Dairy Farmers of Ontario with a stylized milk on the upper chest area whenever they take the ice. It says, with such an out-of-left-field sponsorship, it was too good to be true for jokesters across the hockey world to get another jab at the team famous for underperforming in the playoffs. Again, not my words. I'm reading these. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Uh, I one, don't know anything about I don't. This one at all. commenter reposted a picture of the newly designed shirts with the caption, nothing spoils in the summer like milk. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, their sponsor uh, apparently is a milk company. Okay. Which... That's maybe not normal in sports. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think I know it's beer. normal. I don't know that I've ever heard of that before. Most things I see that are involving I mean, sports hey, are sponsored by beer, not They milk. should just be happy they got a sponsor. I think, it's I think cool. that's a great thing. There you go. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50 15 one, five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit right now with Macy Bookout McKinney. And uh, you might know her from the Teen Mom program on MTV. And she's got a new one out right now. It's called Teen Mom, The Next Chapter. Macy, how you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I am fantastic. So let's talk about when you very first appeared on the program on MTV. How old were you at the time? I was 17. 17. When the show first aired. And was that the first season or what season was that that you were on the, with the Teen Mom program on MTV? Um, I was the first episode of what Teen Mom started as, which was 16 and Pregnant. 
Okay. So I was the very first episode of 16 and Pregnant, and then after 16 and Pregnant aired, some of the girls started Team Mom together. So you're as OG as it gets, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Now, this program, and the thing that's interesting, you know, there are people who watch this program and loved it, and there are people who watched it and, like, like didn't like They're like, oh, I don't like that they're glorifying this. Here's the thing. You're going through this, and there are other people going through this. We might as well do what we can to maybe shine the light on it and let people need, uh, see what it's like. So I think it was actually kind of an interesting idea for a show. Yeah, um, and what's crazy is that when before it was even greenlit and we were still shooting the pilot, um, I don't even think... I mean, we had many conversations, but even the creators of the show, I don't think any of us really truly knew that at that time it was going to turn into what it turned into. And then, you know, here I am years and years and years later talking to you. So Absolutely. Well, and, and the thing that's interesting, over that course of time, there have been many different versions of the program, and the newest version, Teen Mom, the next chapter, you're no longer a teen, but you're certainly still a mom, and uh, th the next chapter, I think it is very fascinating, because I'm sure there are people who watched you as a teenager, having a child, trying to figure out what life is going to be like now, and now, hopefully... I, I don't know that you necessarily have it all figured out because none of us have it all figured out, but you certainly are a, a, a lot further along than you were back then. So that's kind of what this new one is, is a peek into your life to see where things are now, right? Yeah. So, you know, for in the beginning, it was obviously we were, all of us moms were teenagers and just, you know, doing the best that we can and just trying to keep our head above water. Now, just it's like just because, you know, I'm 31 instead of 17 or because I'm raising a teenager instead of uh, a baby, it doesn't get easier. I think the, the challenges and the struggles just change. Um, and I feel like, like I said, I, we don't know what we're doing all the time. None of us. None of us have all the answers, but we're just doing the best that we can. And when this program came out, and again, you were like one of the original originals, so this was brand new. And, you know, nobody really knew what to expect. But how, how did this change your life? And, again, it's hard to know how what life would have been without this. But there are some certain things that you know this is because of this program, right? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I, I really, I think it's changed every aspect of my life. Um, it's obviously had its ups and downs. And sometimes, you know, being in the public eye, especially sharing your life, you know, parenting, being a, a young adult and really not knowing what you're doing, those things are, it's hard to do that in front of the world, but um, the show has, you know, helped me have a purpose and um, hopefully by sharing my story, I'm helping someone or making someone feel less alone, but it's also, you know, brought a lot of opportunities and um, a lot of, a lot of really, you know, crazy but really cool and special experiences too absolutely now you'd mentioned being a young adult and not having things figured out uh, good news i'm an old adult and i still don't have things figured out so that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if people are looking for teen mom the next chapter where can they go to find this so it airs on tuesdays on MTV at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'm going to throw a link to that to make it really easy to find. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. We appreciate it a bunch. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, in addition to the show, you, you're a New York Times bestselling author. I'm going to throw a link to the book as well so folks can find that. We've got Bulletproof and I Wasn't Born Bulletproof, a couple of different books. I'll throw a link to make it easy to find those in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Nonviolent attempts to escape from Mexican prisons are not punished at all because they say it is human nature to want freedom. What? So as long as you don't hurt anybody while you're trying to escape, you could try every single day. You could and try every like, day. Okay. Somebody that get Mike. That is ridiculous. Put him back in his cell. <laughs> <laughs> like, just... 
that seems like Why bizarro world. Why wouldn't you world. keep trying I all the time? Would. I would. It was just me, but I would. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Bubble wrap was originally invented as wallpaper. That would be kind of cool wallpaper. It would be, but it yeah. would pop. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Electric cars were introduced in 1896. By the end of that century, half the cars worldwide were electric. And then everybody went to gas, and now we're back to electric, and we're thinking it's a new thing. No, 1896, they were doing electric really? cars. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A car traveling 100 miles per hour would take more than 29 million years to get to the nearest star away from uh, that's the closest one to the sun, to our sun. Wow. 100 miles an hour, more than 29 million years. So you're going to probably run out of gas. Just saying. That is your fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Heidi, here's a question. One in four women admit that they have cried here. Where did they cry? The bathroom. Um, uh, no. The, does that happen a lot too? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, the answer is a salon. Have you ever cried in a salon? I have never cried in a salon. You take a look at your hair and you start crying. You're like, oh, that's not. Never. So does that mean you love it so much it brings you to tears? If oh, oh, you cried hate in it. A fitting room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the number for that. All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. If you've got a teenager, you might have heard him or her say they couldn't live without the new iPhone 14. But in Laos, a small country bordering China, apparently some are willing to live with one kidney in exchange for a new iPhone. Are you kidding? It has brought a huge wave of concern. A viral image posted by a beauty clinic shows a group of people holding up their new iPhone oh while displaying a surgical star. A surgical scar, rather, after supposedly selling a kidney to get an iPhone. Oh, my gosh, which is going to be outdated in yeah. a day. Many believe the photo to be real. However, it has been reported that the clinic was using the image as a marketing gimmick. They're saying uh, it's not for real, but a, don- a donation uh, organ donation center has condemned the stunt, calling it immoral, and pointing out there is no organ trading like this. It is prohibited. The iPhone retails for twelve hundred and fifty to nineteen hundred and forty dollars. Uh, meanwhile, uh, in Thai, four hundred and thirty-four dollars is the minimum wage per month that they make there. So that's what they make on a monthly basis. It'd take like four months to pay for a phone. Jeez. So weird. That's why it's today's Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Some movies are, for whatever reason, movies you can watch over and over and over again. Yep. I want you to think of a movie you could watch over and over and over again. I'm going to read to you the list of the ones that came in on this survey as the big ones. Casablanca, 1942 is when that came out. Mm. The Sandlot, 1993. I love that. I could watch that over and over. Star Wars uh, from 1977. I think that's the original. The Big Lebowski from 1998. And Shawshank Redemption from 1994. Uh, Do you agree with any of these, Heidi? No. Which one would you say is the movie you could watch over and over and over again? The Burbs. And we do that. We do. That is a, a really good movie, actually. We've, I talked to uh, Corey Feldman about that movie. He is going to be at 80s in the Sand this year. 
Is he really? He is. I did not. <laughs> yeah, they just that. announced it. The That's other day. pretty cool. I know. Very cool. Well, it, you'll have to think of which movies you could watch over and over and over again, and you can add them to the list as well. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Our quote today is from Norm Crosby. Norm says, when you go into court, you're putting your fate into the hands of 12 people who were not smart enough to get out of jury duty. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. That's not nice. Uh, it is funny, though. Um, so, Norm Crosby, is that Norm from Cheers? No. I didn't know. I guess I didn't know that Norm's last name, but uh, it's a fun quote. I know some really smart people who are on jury duty, so it's not just people. That are... <laughs> I just want to make sure we say that, because uh, that's a, it's a very no important how, sometimes duty. Sometimes, no matter how smart you are, you're not getting out of jury exactly. duty. So, go. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. You ready for a, a fun story here, Heidi? Yes. Jeep brings back the world's largest rubber duck to Detroit to celebrate a ducking movement. A ducking. So let me tell you what this is all about. So first of all, This is from maybe a week ago. September 15th. What is that? That's like two weeks ago. Holy cow. Uh, Jeep has brought the world's largest duck to the Detroit Auto Show to celebrate ducking and encouraging others to continue the new trend. What is ducking, you might ask? That was what I was wondering. The concept is very simple. Jeep owners buy some mini rubber ducks. They write some message or drawing on them and leave them on or in other Jeeps just to make other Jeep owners smile. Oh, okay. So once you've been ducked, if the ducky wishes they can take up a cause of spreading a little joy, they're hoping that you'll pass this on and it'll turn into, you know, a thing. Mm. It all started in July of 2020 when a Jeep owner by the name of Allison Parliament bought some rubber ducks with the intention to hide them around her friend's house as a prank. But as she walked out of the toy store, she spotted another Jeep. So she took a marker and she wrote, nice Jeep on the duck and placed it on the vehicle. And she got caught. The owner, this burly, scary looking, six foot tall, six foot five tall guy, says, What are you doing? And she said, uh, I think I peed myself a little. He's a big, scary guy. But he thought it was great. And now it's become a thing. Okay. So Jeep owners ducking one another. So they've got this gigantic, huge, world's largest inflatable duck to help promote ducking once and one another. So, all right. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's interesting as well. I saw this picture and it was sent to me because you and I were involved in a thing where there was a duck race and then we were selling tickets for that. So a friend of mine sent this to me because he said, the second I saw this, I thought of you. And I was like, a big fat duck made you think of me? Oh, because of the duck thing. You know why. Yes. All right. Hey, if you want to read that, I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend.